Hi, welcome to a new Civilization 6 game with the most recent Frontier Pass update, including Vietnam, which we will be playing, a very interesting civilization that benefits from rainforest, marsh, and woods. It also includes Kublai Khan, the new leader. He can lead either China or Mongolia. I included him as one of the AIs. And since we're playing Vietnam, I thought it would be appropriate to include USA as the AI. So there we go. We will be playing on data difficulty, and since Vietnam benefits from woods, rainforest, and marsh, I changed rainfall to wet. That will give us a map with more woods, rainforest, and marsh. Here's the seed if you want to use it. However, if you use the seed, you have to use the same exact map settings that I am using. So here they are. And the new Frontier Pass update also includes Monopolies and Corporations mode, which sounds very, very interesting. I'm definitely looking forward to that. So with this, you have a reason to hoard as much of a specific luxury resource as possible. Should be quite interesting. So let's get started, shall we? We'll talk about Vietnam as we go. It's probably like the only civilization where you don't really want Magnus first, probably. Life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Back to you. So here we are, and we got Hermetic Order right away. Okay. Oh, that's not a bad wonder, definitely. Plus one faith and plus one science to adjacent tiles. So now, one important thing to keep in mind as Vietnam is that we can only build districts on rainforest, marsh, or woods. We will be able to plant woods much earlier than you normally can. But, we still need Medieval first Civic for it. Which is over here, so in the late Medieval era. Meaning it comes in mid-game, basically. So, hold on, where exactly do we want to settle? I think on the spot makes sense. I would normally consider moving here. Probably. Well, maybe not, it kind of depends. I do like settling on a hill, but as Vietnam, we want as much forest and rainforest as possible. But in this case, I want to have as many tiles adjacent to this wonder as I can. So this way we'll have, what, four of them. One, two, three, and four, and five, possibly. So settling on spot makes sense, let's do that. This is a very interesting start already. And nice yields from the truffles. So, let's grab a scout right away, and check out our surroundings. I might actually try to go for a holy site first and religion again. And for my religion, I could grab the pantheon that gives holy sites plus one faith for each adjacent rainforest. I forgot what it's called, but it's a thing. Now, since I don't necessarily want Magnus first, because I will not be really benefiting from Groundbreaker. I could still get him to get provision, but I don't like having a useless first promotion. So let's get Liang. That way we'll get an extra charge on the builder early on, and then I could get zoning commissioner, and we'll want Liang in the long run anyway. So there we go. I will get a Magnus later on anyway, but I don't think he would be that good as the first one, in the case of Vietnam. Okay, so here are all the tiles. I could have another city on the other side of this wonder. Definitely a good plan. Let's go check out the area. We also want to see who our neighbors are. Okay, that's nice, we got rice adjacent to the wonder. Look at this tile over here. Wow, okay. Yeah, it has three tiles adjacent to it. We definitely want a city on the other side. Hopefully there isn't an AI over here. Okay, there's a city state, that's fine. 
and we were not the first ones to make contact with it. That means there is a neighbor in that area. Okay, next up, Builder. Yeah, there has to be a neighbor pretty close. This is only turn 7. There we go. Oh, it's Teddy. Okay, okay. So, USA is our neighbor. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alls of Minerva, nice one. So, that's the second city-state, and we are the first ones to make contact with that one. Alright. Yeah, I definitely want a city here. That will probably piss Teddy off. But he's not super close. I just want to take advantage of this tile right here. That's so good. So, we'll see. Okay, Hippolyta. That's the hero. The first one we discovered. And another city-state. We are also the first ones to make contact with it. Nice. So, these are two religious city-states. I guess the game is trying to tell me something. I mean, yeah, I guess I was already planning to get the holy site. We'll give it a shot. Now, let's see what's going on here. That's an interesting looking lake. Yeah, hopefully he will not declare an early war. But I'll have to be prepared in case he does. Oh, yep, he's sending a settler here. Right, I don't want him settling here. I really don't. But I'm rushing that settler as fast as I possibly can. Maybe I can discourage him from settling too close. And even if he settles here, I should be able to have a city like somewhere in this area and still buy that tile. I just want this tile, okay? And maybe the bananas. But I want this one in the middle. Go away, nobody likes you. I could declare war, but the settler is protected. So I don't think that would work. Probably not, no. Hey, I can always declare war on him early on. But, I mean, I only have one unit right now, so... <laughs> that war would go poorly, most likely. Now, next up, we probably want mining and animal husbandry. So let's do that. I guess I didn't need that builder this early. Now, I don't want to try getting religion, so let's get that holy side going. Red right here would be okay. I will miss out on the bonus yields from the wonder, but it makes sense to build the holy side adjacent to the wonder. Red right here, for example, would be good. And it will get more because I'll get the pantheon that benefits from adjacent rainforest. Unless the AI gets it first, but... Plus 5 is good regardless. Let's get it there. We got a mason repost. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I can discourage him from settling here. Yep, he settled the city. I might still be able to get this, but it just became less likely. I'll try, but I don't know. Hey, worst case scenario, we'll just go to war with him. Not too early on, but we probably will. I mean, we have to, right? <laughs> because of the lore. That just makes sense. Let's finish that holy site first. And I should be able to get a religion. Here's yet another city-state. Okay, then. So, let's wait for animal husbandry here. This is a very interesting start so far. It is not wisdom. We got Code of Laws. Well, let's grab Discipline. I don't really need God King. Because I'm getting plus two faith already. But I could speed it up a little bit. Just to get that Pantheon slightly faster. So, okay, let's do that then. It might make a difference between getting what I want and not getting what I want. Even though it's fairly unlikely the AI will get the Rainforest Pantheon, but this map will have more Rainforest in general. They might, I don't know. Is anyone accumulating any points yet? 
Nope, nobody. That's good. Four more turns for Animal Husbandry. God of the Forge for America. Okay, good for them. That's not what I want. Here's yet another city-state. We were not the first ones to make contact with that one. There's the holy site. And we can get our pantheon. Okay, so the pantheon I wanted is actually gone. However, we do have Earth Goddess, which wouldn't be too bad in this situation. Let's check the appeal real quick. Yeah, this one is breathtaking as far as I can tell. It is. This one as well. That's charming. This one is breathtaking. So it kind of makes sense. I could grab that. And also, that Pantheon synergizes nicely with the new district, the Preserve, because that gives you up to free housing based on appeal, and it increases the appeal of adjacent tiles by one. So I kind of like that. Okay, fine. Let's get Earth Goddess then. Even though I really wanted that Rainforest Pantheon. Oh well, Earth Goddess is fine. I'll take it. So now, if I want to get a religion, I kind of need a shrine ASAP. Because, you know, without the shrine, I'm not really getting great profit points. And we need great profit points. I probably won't be getting this tile. But we'll get it in the future through, let's say, aggressive negotiation. That's how it works, right? Just don't declare war on me, bro. I'm not quite ready for that no just yet. yet. There's Animal Husbandry. So now we can get their truffles. And the other one as well. And then I could get mining to get the stone. We will get that tile in one turn. Let's do that then. Yeah, I need him to not declare war on me. Because I'm working on that shrine. To get the religion. Which means I can't really get any defenses just yet. Oh yeah, no, he declared war. Okay, I might be fine anyway because of all these mountains around here. I'm pretty sure I will be fine actually. He shouldn't be able to really attack me very efficiently. He can't even reach me very easily. So yeah, we'll be fine. This is fine. I could go for early aggression, but, I mean, that's not the plan at this point. The plan is to try getting religion. Here's another neighbor. And he already dislikes me. How surprising. Not. Well, okay, whatever flows his boat. Let's go get the stone to get some more production. The shrine is almost done. If I'm going to play aggressively, I could get Crusade, assuming we'll get the religion. So let's maybe not get ahead of ourselves just yet. Now, there are several things I could use. If I really want to push the religion hard, I could do Holy Side Prayers. Let's see. So everyone is only getting one point or zero right now. But that might change. If I really want to get the religion, Holy side prayers make sense. It's only four turns. Four turns can be quite a lot on turn 27. But let's do it. That should basically guarantee the religion. That's definitely not a bad thing. I suppose the settler Where will have to wait. In a okay, we got mining. Here you go. That's craftsmanship boost. And uh, I suppose we should probably unlock walls, since we're at war and all that. Hey, I might still get a chance to get this tile, if he doesn't buy it. He doesn't seem to be buying it. All I need is get the settler quickly, and then have enough gold to buy up the tiles. I might still be able to do it. That's the positive aspect of Let me mark the site of the city then. So if we want to get this tile, I guess we need a city right here. 
could also be here, but that's dangerously close. This one is a little bit better, I think. I won't be getting the banana, but that's alright. This will not be the best location for the city ever, but this is my only real chance to get this tile. That tile is too good to give up, alright? So, holy said prayers, now I need the settler. I think everything else will have to wait, we need that settler out quickly. And I don't have enough gold to buy up two tiles. This would also be a decent science boost early on. Let's see. There's the prophet. We are halfway there already. And nobody built Stonehenge yet. So hey, maybe we'll get the first religion. Hopefully it will be worth it because I gave up quite a bit to go for the religion. No, not interested. Uh, actually, yeah, I kind of am. <laughs> uh, that was instinct. I am actually interested, imagine that. How much will you give me? Uh, okay, that's fine. Now, different resources will give you different monopoly bonuses. I don't really know anything about that part just yet. But I'm looking forward to finding out. Are we at war with any city-state? No, we are not. At least not at the moment. I don't have one more build on the builder because of Liang. I could just get a farm right here. We don't have irrigation yet. Or I could save him for our second city. That probably makes more sense. Wait, I'm not at war with this guy, am I? Oh, wait, I am! What? Oh yeah, we are at war with Cahokia, whoops. I kind of didn't notice that. My bad. I mean, it's not really a big deal, regardless. One more turn. I will need walls, which is why I'm getting masonry. So now, now it's about time to get the monument and the damn trader. Oh, this is actually not too bad. That will be basically a coastal city, which I certainly don't mind. Uh, that was the sound of another city declaring war. Another city-state, I mean. I'm not too concerned about that. But I would like to get walls, for sure. Our second advisor, or rather governor, uh, could be Victor. That's an option. Egypt okay, let's not hang out over there with that scout too much. He needs to heal himself up. Okay, I should be able to get that tile. In before he gets it, like right before I settle the city. Uh, that wouldn't be overly surprising. Come on. I got the money, I just need to get there. Hopefully we will. How's that prophet? Yep, we are about to get him. Did anyone build the Stonehenge? Yes, somebody did. Which means we'll have the second religion. That's good enough. Definitely good enough. Okay, there we go. We will get that tile. Nice. Even without any improvements, that's really good. And it will be a directly coastal city. Oh, and that's actually a different continent as well. Interesting. There we go. Nice. I'm glad I got that. So obviously we'll work that right away. Look at the yields. That's a completely unimproved tile. Now, uh, we will need walls, although if I get a few units, I might be fine without walls for now. If he doesn't build any city walls, I might be able to take his city. But I will need archers and not slingers. I might also need to defend myself from the city state units. <laughs> I don't expect them to, like, take my city or anything. Oh wait, I'm not at war with Kahokia anymore. Okay then. Uh, let's get the dice. I'll just need irrigation. And we can get the trader, that's fine. 
I can send him to one of the city-states to the I south. This one, we have a quest. Skill without imagination is There's craftsmanship. I can probably swap out the discipline, I won't be needing it anymore. Get a production boss to units. And we could also get maritime industries and get a galley. But I would like to get a few units to defend myself. And let's grab urban planning for now. Yep, that's fine. Next up. So yeah, writing to unlock the campus. I suppose that's a no-brainer. We can also unlock the preserve right here. That also makes sense. But first, I would like to get political philosophy. For obvious reasons. That's what we'll do. Uh, okay, I could get the wheat actually. Because that's kind of required for irrigation boost. And I do not have irrigation boost otherwise. I'll just buy the tile. Here, we have the money, we can afford it. There we go. That gives us irrigation boost and a nice tile to work as well. Can we just peace out? We can if we want to. Now, question is, will he build walls in there before I can gather a big enough army to take the city? I would assume that he will, but I can still try to do some damage. If nothing else, I can pillage a few tiles. Also, we got the religion. So, let's see what we want to get for our religion. I could go for crusade. So, hold on. Found the religion. Now, let's see. This is an interesting choice. For the first one, frankly, I might just go for work ethic. I could go for something like Jesuit education if I want to, but work ethic is just too good to ignore, you know? I don't really want to ignore that. And we do have a plus five holy site already. It's not the best holy site of all times, but it's still a good one. I think it's still worth picking up work ethic. Hey, we could also name our religion something fun. Hey, you know what? This is actually a good moment to finish this episode. So uh, leave your best idea for the religion name in the comments and I will pick one of them to name the religion. And if you think I should go for something specific for the beliefs, then you could also pause there. But yeah, uh, post your best idea for the religion name and I will use one of the ideas from the comments. And also, that's going to be the end of this video. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did to announce the YouTube algorithm as is tradition. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.